coastal promo.
these are made out of elder. These California flutes are made out of elder, which has a soft central pith. And uh, this is also um, made a little bit more reflective by adding oil to the inside of the bore. And of course, originally they've used an arrow point to make the, uh, the finger holes. And uh, the uh, people of the coast had four finger holes, and the people in Clear Lake had five. And the Yoni in Mount Lassen had eight, the Maidu had uh, six. So there was a difference between the coast and the, and the mountains and the interior of California. So different, depending on where the person fingers were comfortable, that's where they put the holes. The no two flutes really exactly the same. Uh, some of the Miwok made really large clap sticks, but this is my due size. And my son made this in Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts. And then, of course, I talked about Michael Graham Allen. Um, he copied uh, the flutes that are in the Pony Express Museum in St. Joseph, Missouri. And uh, he uh, became famous for being known as Coyote Old Man. So, uh, toward that end, he actually has a little coyote burned in there, a brand burned in there. And uh, you can see that it's a coyote jumping over the moon and the stars. So, uh, in the Sun House in Ukiah, Mendocino County, there are paintings by a lady named Grace Hudson. And uh, when she passed away in 1937, these became, uh, these paintings are on exhibit in what was her house, her private house which is now a museum called the Grace Hudson Museum at 431 South Main Street, Ukiah, California, 95482. Now, uh, I'd like to dedicate this whole performance to Mar uh, Malcolm Margolin, who uh, uh, publishes a quarterly magazine called Notes from California, Notes from Native California. He also publishes Heyday Books, and um, He's been intensely interested in Californian history for many years and of the native peoples. So one of his books, which I recommend highly, is called The Ohlone Way, and that's O-H-L-O-N-E, Ohlone uh, Way, by Malcolm Margolin. So uh, I'll have this all in the notes under the video. But uh, Mike, if you could, could catch some of the, uh, the elder right behind me here. I can. I, uh, have elder in growing right behind my house. Following you, sir. Sure. And uh, as you can see, these have pinnate leaves. That is to say, the edge of the leaf is got little serrations on it. Hold and steady, I'll uh, I'll zoom in. There we go. And um, inside each one of these. Elder branches is a soft central pith, which can be revealed if you skin the uh, branch. You can see that it has a soft, spongy pith. And I'll put that up where you can see it. Got it. So this, um, the uh, leaves are uh, branches always opposite each other. Like this is a real typical formation right here. This thing here and this is here. Um, when it's winter, all these leaves fall off. And uh, it's a very bare piece of wood. As you can see, some of the branches are really thick. The ones, uh, I think, for flutes, this branch here, Going out here would be pretty good for flutes and flaps. Uh, usually, you want the diameter to be about one inch. Now, uh, some of these, uh, this has been growing for many years, so it's really almost an elder tree, not an elder bush. In Ireland, uh, uh, you uh, had to ask the sheep permission of the sheep to cut one down. Um, they were supposedly one of the things that 
fairies would live under or in or frequent on their rest as they moved around the place. And uh, there's many different folklore things in Europe about elder. And uh, you would never make a baby's cradle out of elder because the elder mother would come and steal the baby. So elder is a worldwide distribution in the temperate zones. And so you find it here and you also find it in Europe. And this is one of the prime California Indian flute woods. There are others, but this was one of the prime ones for Northern California. Thanks for listening.